I'm at the Toronto Boat Show and I found a nice landing craft, but I can't afford it. So I'm gonna make a miniature one. Hi folks, Bill Jones Nation here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at my barge build process. Specifically, we're gonna see how I designed and 3D printed this water jet propulsion system. So the goal is to put this water jet system in a one tenth scale landing craft and then my Land Rover Defender can drive in that. The first step was to three-dimensionally design the driveline parts using CAD software. Next, I referenced the 3D design of the driveline to construct the water jet around it. This animation shows all of the parts coming together after a few months of hard work designing. I was able to test most of the movement in Fusion 360, but there's nothing like testing the real thing. I 3D printed the water jet system and made all the necessary connections. And through a push-pull system here, that turns the nozzle left and right 30 degrees from center line. The reverser is similar, so it's here. It's got a large throw, big horn there, and it connects to a braided metal cable, which goes out uh, to the reverser here. This cable bends a lot, so it needs to go through this tube to help it keep rigid. That way it can go up and down. We're just gonna disassemble the water jet. The impeller is machined aluminum. It's got a diameter of 36 millimeters, and I designed the housing for it to be 36.5 millimeters. Before I designed the hull, I needed to make sure that a barge would hold my radio controlled truck and still be stable in the water. One of the main design goals was to keep the barge as small as possible, yet still have reasonable performance characteristics in the water, specifically stability. Question. Why can't you just put your water jet system in your cardboard boat that you built? I don't think it would do it justice. Look you know how nice this thing looks. This, this needs a uh, custom 3D printed hull just for it. This is the hull design I came up with. It's a simple design inspired by modern Navy ships that have polygonal surfaces. And I think it looks cool. On to the printing. Next I needed to calibrate my printer. I was getting good results in the past, but at the cost of time. This hull will probably take over 300 hours to print, so I need speed and accuracy for this build. Here's my failed parts box so far for the build that I'm adding to daily. After many hours tinkering with print settings in Curious Slicer, I was finally getting good results at higher speeds, but I was having issues with the Z seam, as you can see here. I'm using a Creality Ender 3 V2 with a Bowden setup, but it always had issues, specifically with heat creep. I upgraded to a direct drive extruder and started to get some good results, and this extruder eliminates heat creep by having an all metal bottom. I managed to print a few hull sections before my brand new extruder failed. I'm putting a lot of print time on the machine, so it's inevitable that it's going to break down. That's okay, we'll fix it. These are the sections I have so far. They dry fit together quite nicely using 3mm metal dowels and machine screws. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll take a deeper dive into the hull construction.